y'all what is up it's Kimberly and in today's video I'm going to be talking about differences in churches between the US and Germany this video might be a bit of a sensitive topic um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while but I've been kind of scared to approach the topic I wrote absolutely zero notes or a script for this video so I'm really just talking out of my heart from my own experiences and observations again like I just said this is my own experience and this is my own observation if you're German or if you're American you may have totally different perspectives or totally different observations. This is just my own. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments down below. I really want this video to be a learning space for all of us to educate each other and to learn from each other. And I'm not saying that either country is doing it wrong or anything like that. Um, I'm just speaking from my own perspective as a Christian woman. Um, what I've noticed that is different and what I like and what I don't like about churches in the US and in Germany. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm gonna give you all a little bit of background about my journey as a Christian because I do think it's important to kind of state my bias, state where I'm coming from before I get into things. Um, so I became a Christian when I was 15 years old. I wasn't really a Christian before that. I kind of went to church sometimes but it was a catholic church and it was more so because my mom was dragging me to go there and i wasn't really into it i didn't really understand certain things about it um but it wasn't until i was 15 and i had a friend from high school invite me to go to church with him that i went and i became obsessed with it and before i knew it i was super immersed into that church and into christianity I absolutely adored and loved my church in high school. It was such a great first impression of Christianity. It was such a loving and accepting church. Um, so if you're watching this and you went to Fairmont Park Church, hello, I love y'all so much. Um, it was just honestly such an amazing church and I think it really shaped me as a person that I am today and just for a little bit of information especially for my German friends because I think a lot of this is confusing Christianity in Germany is way different than Christianity in the US in the US we have a lot of different denominations so that's different kinds of Christianities I guess at the end of the day the fundamental part is the same like believing that Jesus is your Lord and Savior but there's different denominations. So my church was actually Southern Baptist, which sounds really extreme, but that church wasn't very traditional. Southern Baptists, they were very modern and had a lot of modern music and were really accepting of people. There's other denominations like Pentecostal, which a traditional Pentecostal person speaks in tongues and they wear long skirts. Um, there's Lutheran, there's Methodist, there's so many different denominations. Like, I don't even know how many denominations there are. Um, if I find out, I'll tell you the number of denominations versus in Germany. I think it's way more clear and cut. There is the evangelist Christianity and then there's Catholicism. In the US, Catholicism is considered Christianity, but it is considered more different than how it is in Germany. In Germany, they're kind of seen as the same versus in the US, they're kind of seen as more different. And also that opinion varies when you're talking to a Catholic person, so I don't know. Anyways, so back to my Christianity story. I went to a church all throughout high school. I absolutely loved it, adored it, and most of my friends were Christians. I was a really big good girl in high school, and then I went to college. I joined a church in college, which um, was awesome as well, especially at first, and I stuck with that church throughout college. Um, and that church was very different than my first church. Um, this church was definitely a lot more spiritual and they were a lot more, I guess, ghostly, if you will say. Like, um, they 
prayed over you like with their hands and spoke in tongues a bit more. Um, I never had experienced anybody speaking in tongues. Well, I did one time I went to this Pentecostal camp thing and it was really, really weird and I left early. Um, but I like there were people speaking in tongues at my church in college. Um, there was prophesying. So there was a bunch of different things. It was like next level compared to my church in high school, but my church in college was also very modern. The music was way more intense in my opinion than my church in high school. And it was even more modern, I think, than my church in high school. So they're very similar in the fact that they're modern and they appealed to a younger crowd. But I would say that overall, there are some negative things that I've noticed about the American modern day church. Okay, so now going into church in Germany. So when I was interning in Germany, I knew that I wanted to join a church and I had heard from somebody else, I can't remember exactly who, that there was a Hillsong in Berlin. And I, when I heard that, I was so ecstatic. So for those of y'all that don't know, my church in Berlin is called Hillsong and it is a really popular church within the Christian community. Their main church is located in Australia and they have branches all over the world and they have a few in Germany. I've been to the one in Munich um, and I know they have one in Dusseldorf and I think they have one that's growing in Hamburg, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not too sure. But yeah, so I was going to the church in Berlin and the first two girls that I met um, at Hillsong in Berlin ended up being my friends after that. And it was so awesome. And I absolutely loved, loved, loved and adored that church again. It was a very modern church, felt very similar to the American churches I had gone to. Um, very accepting. Again, really modern music. I mean, Hillsong is like the standard for modern music with Christian music. They are absolutely, I think, I could be biased, but I think that they are some of the most influential singers. And there's also Bethel, which is really popular as well, but Hillsong's definitely up there. Um, so if y'all don't know Hillsong, they're kind of known for being a bit of a celebrity church, celebrities such as Hailey Bieber, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez go to this church. So again, they're really popular and famous, which is also a reason why they get a lot of crap. So even though that was my experience with a church in Germany, I know that for a lot of Germans, that's not their experience with church in Germany. I think that this whole new modern church movement has just hardly started in Germany. I think Overall, what I've noticed is that modern churches are far and few in Germany. A lot of them are beautiful, traditional churches that don't really appeal to a younger group, which I think really sucks because a lot of younger people in Germany have a really bad taste with Christianity because they just know it as something that's used for tradition or something that is not really personal or something that can become spiritual, which my version of Christianity, the way I grew up with American churches is that our relationship with Jesus is something that's really personal and spiritual. And I've learned how to really make that everyday thing in my life, something that I can take with me every day into my life. But I think that the churches in Germany really fail to teach how it can be something that is with you every day, not just a traditional basis type of thing. But on the other hand, I have noticed that churches in Germany, at least from my experience, again, it might be just a Hillsong thing, but the churches tend to be a lot more forgiving in my opinion. So I never felt a need to front that I was a perfect person because the whole idea of Christianity is that you're not a perfect person. You need a savior. Um, and I felt like I was way more accepted at my church in Germany than I was accepted at my church in the U S um, especially the church that I went to in college. Um, at one point in college, I was a leader for 
my church group and I wasn't allowed to drink at bars. I wasn't allowed to watch rated R movies. Um, again, it was like a selfless servant type of thing. Um, and as a leader, you wanted to set the standards and you didn't want to make any of your friends stumble. But I think it became to a point where you're almost a robot and you don't know how to be approachable to people. And I think it kind of was just unrealistic in my opinion. And I honestly, like, I remember turning 21 in college and I felt like I had to completely drink behind everybody's back. I was so paranoid that my church friends would see me. Um, it just was so unhealthy looking back. Like, why was it so sinful for me to go enjoy a night out, to have a few drinks? I don't know. But because that was instilled in me in college that this is wrong and this is right. And if you do anything that's wrong, then you're bad. I just became a very two-faced person in my opinion because I was doing things with my church friends that I couldn't do with my normal friends but I kind of shifted that a lot when I went to church in Germany because there would be times after church where our whole entire group would go to beer gardens after church and that just would blow my mind because never ever ever would I have done that with my churches in uh, college so Definitely different in that regard, but I do think that my church in Germany, again, was a different kind of church than churches usually are in Germany. So let me know down in the comments below, um, is this your experience as a German in church or was it just Hillsong that's like, hey, let's go grab some beer because I think that is a little bit different and unique. Another observation that I have is that a lot of Germans will celebrate Christian holidays even though they're not Christians, even though the majority of them are atheists. And I think that that's really strange just coming from my own perspective and opinion. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I just think it's a little bit strange because why would you celebrate something that just doesn't have meaning or purpose for you? Again, I know that's really controversial and I get that, but to me it's like the whole point in celebrating those traditions is for the religious reason because it's like a personal thing. Um, and I also don't understand the whole point of going to church for traditional purposes. I think that you should go to church because it's something that you truly believe and that it's something that you kind of want to experience versus being forced to go to church. I think that only hurts Christianity and the youth experience with Christianity in Germany even more so because again, it's putting that mentality that Christianity is only a traditional thing instead of a personal relationship with Jesus or with God. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. Um, I'm not saying like, obviously don't celebrate Christmas if you're not a Christian, but I feel like if you are celebrating Christmas or Easter and you're not a Christian, then shouldn't you celebrate all of the other religions holidays too? I don't know. That's just my thought. That's just my opinion. I don't really celebrate other religions holidays because to me it wouldn't just hold, it just wouldn't hold any type of spiritual significance um also i get it because christmas is one of those western holidays that has now become so marketed to be something that it's not anymore like i think christians even struggle with the true meaning of christmas and really celebrating it in a way that glorifies god but with all of that being said i love both experiences in both countries. I've loved my churches in the US and I loved my church in Germany. I love my church in Germany so much. I actually miss it a lot and I'm really struggling to find a church here in Houston that I really resonate with like I did in Germany. Um, I just think that there's something so great about Hillsong. So if you are in Berlin or Munich or Dusseldorf, definitely check out Hillsong and let me know what you guys think. Um, I think that overall, I, it was really refreshing to be in Germany and to be a Christian in Germany because there's less pressure to be perfect or less pressure to not be a sinner. It's more recognized that you are a sinner. But again, I think that is just coming straight from the perspective of the church that I was going to in Germany because I think that 
For the most part, most churches in Germany are very religious and very traditional. Um, so I was just very lucky to experience the modern side of German churches versus the churches in the US are really great too. And I think that they overall, there's way more churches here that can appeal to the youth. Um, but I do think that churches in the US, modern day churches need to put less focus on just being perfect and not sinning um, because that's just not realistic. We're, we are all sinners and if you're a Christian, then you should believe that you are a sinner and that you need Jesus to save you. But again, that is just my point of view. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely rambly. I had absolutely no points. Next time I should write notes. But thank you guys for watching a rant video. Again, I think I should just start a whole series called ranting about differences in the US and Germany. Um, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. There's a little red button down below. Click that sucker and I will see y'all next time. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.